one. Well, hello out there in respiratory care land. I have a question for you. What gas is lighter than air and provides ventilation through constricted pediatric airways? Well, the answer is hydrogen, but it's too explosive. So we're gonna go ahead and do heliox instead. And that's the purpose of today's demonstration. I'm gonna show you guys the setup that we would use alternately if we were using Vapotherm, but we had to go ahead and add heliox, we'd simply switch circuits. The circuit that we'll be using is the RT330 from Fisher & Pico. We also have interfaces, cannulas. We have large, and we have extra large today. So let's take you through the circuitry. It's actually quite simple. This is what I call the tower. And on the, on the tower itself, we have inlet for O2 analysis. We have inlet for pressure monitoring. We won't be using that. We have the pressure pop off itself. It goes pop off about 45 centimeters of water pressure or so. Then we have the inlet. Now the inlet runs directly from the Heliox tank. Our Heliox tank is currently 70-30. It doesn't really matter which concentration we're using, 70-30 or 80-20, as we'll be running the flow directly off the Heliox tank. So whatever it is, we're just gonna run it directly off the tank and, and put up the flow. For my clinical purposes, I'm going to go ahead and run the flow at about 10 liters or so and see what the clinical response is, but that's probably a pretty good starting point. The other part of the circuit here is just a simple expiratory, a simple inspiratory limb with the patient interface. Kind of comes apart like that. Should we need to make modifications, there's a couple of key modifications we can go ahead and do for this. If we need to oxygen enrich it, we have a CPAP adapter. We can go ahead and place in the circuit itself. You can bleed in our O2. Secondly, we can go ahead and add aerogen to our circuit. As long as the cup is up, we'll be in good shape. So we have two key modifications because these kids are gonna be the sickest kids in the house. So it's important that we be able to modify. So I've got O2 modification as well as Aerogen, uh, aerogen modification to go ahead and give nebulizers with. So the circuit itself is pretty simple. We've got the tower, O2 bleed in if we need it, our chamber, aerogen nebulizer, and patient interface. For the patient interface, it is a very important point that when your patient has a mustache, mustache goes kid because we all know steroids promote hair growth. So you wanna go ahead and shave your patient down we place them on, there's your wiggle pads, and it's, 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 it's just like that. So this is when we make sure we have a couple different choices and sizes, so we make sure we're choosing the appropriate size for our patient interface. So that's pretty much it, our, set, our, our settings here. We've got a relatively simple circuit, modifications. We're always gonna run Heliox directly into, this, into the tower, and if we need to bleed O2, we're gonna do that on the bottom, on the bottom of the piece itself. So that pretty much takes care of it. Um, any questions, please give me a call. There'll be a quiz coming shortly about this in the short video, a couple of key points here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to make many more for you guys. So thank you for stopping into TV land today.